what is addition of vectors what is triangle law of addition what is parallelogram law of addition and why vector addition is commutative now let me tell you about the addition of vectors we can add vectors by two different law by triangle law and by parallelogram law now adding vectors by triangle law before telling you the concept of triangle law let me tell you the tricky concept of head and tail rule now if i draw a vector now this part of vector is known as a tail of vector and this part of a vector is known as a head of a vector now for example if i have a three vectors vector 1 vector second and vector third now here if i want to add these vectors before adding the vectors i will join these vectors for the addition now how i will join these vectors for the addition now to join different vectors for addition i am go going to give you a trick and remember this trick whenever you are joining vectors for addition and the trick is very simple and that is head and tail trick what i will do i will take the first vector now i will take the second vector and I will join the tail of the second vector with the head of the first vector and uh, and then another vector I will take the third vector and I will take the tail of the third vector and I will join the tail of the third vector with the head of the second vector so this is the head and tail rule in order to join vectors for addition now how I will add all of these vectors then I will use the another trick the trick is talent head trick i will take the i will i will join the tail of the first vector with the head of the third vector and this is the resultant vector this resultant vector is actually giving me the addition of these three vectors 1 plus 2 plus 3 and remember resultant vector is a vector which gives the result of all these three vectors now for example if i have two vectors a and b and if someone is asking me to find the addition of these two vectors a plus b so what i will do i will take the vectors a and now i will take the vectors b and i will join the tail of the vectors b with the head of the vector a and i will then what i will do i will take another vector and i will join the tail of the vector a with the head of the vector b and this is the resultant vector and this resultant vector is giving me the addition of two vectors a plus b similarly if someone is asking me now uh, and, and in this example to find the sum of b vector plus a vector so what i will do now here i am not taking the vector a here it is the question is asking me to find the sum of b vector plus a vector so i am taking the vector b and then i am taking the vector a and i am joining the tail of the vector a with the head of the vector b and now to get the result of b plus a what i am doing i am joining the tail of the vector b with the head of the vector a and i am getting b plus a remember a plus b is equal to b plus a or we we say vector addition is commutative now for example if i have a vector p is equal to 2 minus 7 and q is equal to 3 plus 4 and if someone is asking me find the addition of these two vectors p plus q so what i will do i will take the vector p 2 minus 7 plus 3 plus 4 and i know 2 minus 7 plus 3 plus 4 now here i will here the x part will be added with the x part and what is i i is actually the unit vector of uh, and the x direction and j is the unit vector in the y direction so x part will be added with the x part and y part will be added with the y part so i am getting adding x part 2 plus 3 and i'm getting 5 and its unit vector is i minus 7 
plus 4 and I am getting minus 3 and its unit vector is J. So this is the addition of P plus Q. Now what is parallelogram law? This law was used by Aristotle to describe the combined action of two forces or two vectors. Remember I am saying two forces are two vectors. We usually use two vectors or two forces in order to add them using the parallelogram law. Now for example and remember the rules for adding vectors using the parallelogram law is T and T rule. And what is, what is T and T rule? Tell and tell rule. So for example if I have a two vectors A and B. And if someone is asking me to find its addition by parallelogram law. So what I will do? I will take vector A. Now I am not using the tail of vector B to join it with the head of vector A. Not, not. I am not using this thing. I am using T and two T rules. I am taking vector A and now I am taking vector B and I am joining the tail of vector B with the tail of vector A. And now I am taking resultant vector and also keep it in your mind the tail of resultant vector will, will be joined with the tail of vector A and vector B and I am getting this vector resultant vector and it is giving me A plus B. Now why vector addition is commutative? For example if I have a vector A which is equal to 2 plus 5 and if I have another vector B which is equal to 7 minus 2. Now remember i and j is actually the unit vectors of their respective numbers. Now if someone is asking me to find a plus b, the addition of these two vectors. So what I will do? I will take 2 plus 5 plus 7 minus 2. Now a plus b is equal to 9 and its unit vector is i plus 3 and its unit vector is j. Now that this is equation 1. Now if someone is asking me to find the addition of b plus a. So what I will do? I will take the vector b 7i minus 2j plus 2i plus 5j. And I am getting b plus 5 is equal to 9i plus 3j. Now look here equation 1 is equal to equation 2 9i plus 3j. So we say a plus b is equal to b plus a. So the addition of vectors are same, therefore we say vector addition is commutative.